Guys, if you're watching this, make sure you subscribe. If you want to watch the whole thing, you can watch it on YouTube, Apple Podcasts or Spotify. Yeah, I was like, oh my God, he's got, he's got all this like deep trauma. Like for some reason, I feel like I'm equipped to deal why, with that. Why do I need fixing now? Do you know, now I that? need to be fixed. And he's still the same. Yeah. Jesus. Wasted your I wasted me, me youth. I'm still in me Wasting youth. me youth, but that's like, we're still, we're still young we're and We're still hot. youthful. I could, I still get ID'd until I don't. If I don't get ID'd, I'm like, how fucking dare No, I'll pull it out anyway. I'll be like, you want to see this? I'm like, here it is. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I know you were thinking about it. That's all right. I'll take it for you, sweetness. You've done bits, right? Little mix. My girlies. Love that for you. Yeah. That and you did amazing. that just in time. Li no, you really did that just I in time. I got in there. Yeah. And then I, so yeah, it was um, October, November, oh, 2019. God forbid two months about it was like six weeks on the road and I literally went from doing like capacity shows of like 200 to 300 people yeah to just 20,000 arenas every night did you get to know them like did you speak to them a lot yeah no I right. did and <clears throat> obviously like they were very, very like they work so hard and you they were work. very busy mm. Um, but when I did speak to them, it was really nice. And then we all went out to Jade's club in South Shields. I think it is. Love that. I want to, I think I'm getting that right. It, Cause she just bought a nightclub. Mm. So we all went out and it was like nice, but they honestly, they, sometimes they did like two shows in a day. I don't know how they do it. And it's like a two hour, like hit class there and they're singing and they're dancing. And I'm like, I'm watching them and I'm like, I feel tired. Just yeah. I can't even do two podcasts in a day. And I sit down. <laughs> so I don't know what they're doing. No, no, no. I'm like, first of problems, I have to, I mean, I think I'm going to move it now, but I was going to have to like do a Zoom like podcasting. And I was like, oh. no. I was like, two podcasts in a day? God forbid. Uh, God forbid. Thank you for coming to this one. <laughs> oh no. I was like, this is the priority. <laughs> <laughs> they're watching this like, oh, uh, anyway. Ooh, ooh. Did you see any, did you think they all got along? Was that a thing? I had a great time, but it was kind of a lot, it was a while ago now. It's 2019, it's 2023 Do you know now. what's so funny? You were probably in the midst of it, you didn't even realise. I was like, what? You were just like, I love you all. Thank I you love you. having me. I really enjoyed it. But I love, I mean, Jade's my fave. I, yeah, I everyone do. loves Jade I the love most, Jade. I think. Jade is for the people. Come on the pod. I mean, I, <laughs> she would come on this Please, pod. Please, you think? I mean, I think she would. Well, you've held her to I it I can now, see it. So. I can see the... I feel like the chemistry would be there. I agree. Yeah. I'll get her a body cran. I hope she drinks. I think she does. Fuck it. She she's loves in. a body cran. She's on. <laughs> she's in. She's on. So you've worked with quite a lot of people. I saw you with H. Not with H. Sorry. Oh, yeah. That made it sound like you guys were together. No. Um, how was Platonically. H? Yeah. Yes. He's so sweet you and nice. You everyone's dream. I was so nervous that day. Oh, yeah. oh my God. Okay. So this is what happened. <laughs> yeah. So we, I was on the way to Cornwall. Mm. I was be I was in the car. I couldn't oh because something was wrong with the trains. I think it was like the day the Queen died or something. Jesus, may she rest. Right, Peter, yeah, and um, <laughs> it's a bit of a hard time, but anyway. Um, and so all the trains were messed up. So I ended up having to be. I was getting driven to Cornwall God to go it. to this um, writing camp. Imagine I'm ten. So, so that's a long drive. That's like oh, a six-hour drive. Yeah. And then I was five minutes away from this writing camp. Right. My manager called me and she was like, H wants you to do BBC Live Lounge tomorrow. So like, you're going to have to turn back now. I'll be like, yeah, hit the brake. And I was like, I was like, obviously, absolutely, I'm going to do it. But also, okay. why did you wait till I was? I was like, I have to just like mentally prepare now for mm. like, I literally have to just turn around. So then I turn back. I bet your driver was like, you're right. Yeah. I was like, babes, <laughs> you got to go. Pull a Yui. <laughs> Pop a Yui, back. honey. Um, but then I did it. But I was really nervous because I think when it's not your song, I was like, I don't want to mess it up. And obviously I was oh, doing yeah. Ed Sheeran's part. So I was like, big Ooh. shoes, big shoes to fill. But it was really fun. And he was, he was, he's really sweet. And then I went back to Cornwall on that day. Oh my God. I know. First you did a pilgrimage. I did. But at least you got to see H. But I got to see H in the flesh. This is like <laughs> when the three, uh, who was it? Shepherds, wise men. Don't know. One of them, they saw baby Jesus on their pilgrimage. Oh yeah, with, when they were bringing frankincense. Yeah, you brought your voice. And I that's did. all you needed to bring, really. <clears throat> yeah. Weird, weird, uh, weird flex there, but I love that for you. <laughs> Who's the best person you've ever worked with so far? I've ever worked with? Yeah. Um... Mm. God, were they all awful? Sorry they're for that. Yeah, no, I'm joking. I, I mean, that. they're all really fun. I think working with Marshmallow was really fun. That's a slay. 
we did you get to see what he looked like? I did. Okay, I He's that. hot. Is he? Yeah. Fuck off. Not my type, but hot. <laughs> I hear it. But no, I was like, like when he took it, I was like, oh, <laughs> I was like, hello. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> sorry hey. hello yeah mm. um no uh but he it was just like really fun and the first time i met him was we were in malta doing the isle of mtv and we performed the song for the first time so obviously like the whole thing was quite fun yeah but um yeah it was just like a really fun experience that. you know and i was like i'm working with marshmallow that's quite cool that would be all over my instagram i was like is he gonna take them like is he gonna keep the helmet on or? it's like um the masked singer Yes, but in they should just life. have him on there. Yeah, I mean, you wouldn't know, would you, really? Because no. he doesn't sing. No, yeah, so fine. Yeah, you sold it there. True. I'll be honest. But do yeah, you have anyone? It was fun. That you, I don't even know if you can answer this, but if you do, it's funny. Um, the worst person maybe you've worked with, <laughs> hardest person to work with. Um, <clears throat> I think. Let me think. Mm. I've been quite lucky. Oh, I genuinely, I know it's really boring. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I'm. I've not been like. Oh my god, they were awful i mean that's still a good thing i think I dealing mean. with men's egos <clears throat> when you're working with men like on, yeah. on a song oh that is a thing that yeah it's yeah. quite some, i've had like sometimes it can they just sometimes make decisions not because they feel like it's what's best for the song it's just because they want to feel like they're making a contribution yeah. and end up actually Bastards. making it like worse just because they just want to they don't want to feel like they're yeah. being spoken over by women that's genuinely how i feel would you think it's quite hard being like a female because i can't say no so i'd be like yeah okay um i think you have to i mean especially yeah yeah it is but i think more and more there are more i guess there are more women now working like behind the scenes yeah. as well which makes it really easy like both of the um presidents of my label both women like my managers are women so it's like i'm surrounded by quite like strong women women which makes it easier mm. I, I i don't think i could ever have a male manager like it just wouldn't work yeah neither could i i want to be able to get my tits out in front of you as you should as i should God forbid. um everyone's like where do we sign up <laughs> <laughs> what do you plan taking a linkedin um but so so i've 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 been i've been quite lucky because i've just been surrounded by like great people but you do have to learn very quickly like you've got to stand your ground otherwise yeah you'll get trampled on all over you that is them walking over and especially you. for little people pleaser like me i had to learn real quick i was like oh, okay oh. <laughs> no is that all right i was like is it is that okay if i like say no to that <laughs> is that and like nine times out of ten they're like yes you can say no I'm like, <laughs> you're like oh. okay fine thank you <laughs> i hear you're a massive fan of Harry styles I'm sorry. I should have put a trigger warning in there for you. And I heard you guys were on the same management at one point, no? Well, no, so my management managed One Direction. Okay. Yeah. So like from X Factor to, yeah, they, but, but by the time I joined Modest, One Direction were no more. But um, yeah, I just love him. And I, and I, and now I'm like, oh, I feel like I've kind of embarrassed myself because I speak about it so much, but I genuinely (laughs) just like, um, I just love his music and I just, Every time I've seen him live, I'm just like, you're just the